Hello everybody and welcome to Tug. Haha. -ha. So this is my very first look at it. I have not clicked start game ever before. But now we're going to jump right into Tug. And if you have no idea what Tug is, I'll make sure to put links in the description or maybe annotations as well at in this video. So let us get started. And load in bar. And uh, wow, this is pretty damn cool. Wow. <laughs> so actually, one thing that I have been thinking about for the past days is how deep does this world go? So wh ah, whoa, what the? <laughs> okay. There's a bug for you guys. I have no idea what I just did, but it looks like I am stuck in the, like, stuck in, like, the polys are weird. And I guess the collision is weird. So, uh, <laughs> I have no idea how to proceed now, guys. <laughs> uh, genius. Genius, I must say. So, wait, let us look, um at the controls quickly. Input. Okay, so forward, back, left, right, jump is space, remove, slash use is left click, place is right click. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, okay. Resume game. Uh, so, can I, like, get out of here? Okay. There we go. So now we're in a cavern. <laughs> oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I trapped in here for all time? Actually, oh, light. I see the light. Let's get medium there. Whoops, wrong button. And if you're wondering how I'm changing the ah, the box size, that would be hold down shift and use the mouse wheel. Ah, looks like I got some ores here. Let's scroll through the item. Whoa! Okay, then. Oh, I'm flying, I guess. I guess I double-clicked space. And let's look at the items. Um, wait, what is that? Frozen HUD. What's HUD? Uh, HUD. What's HUD? Oh, MUD! Never mind, the font was a little... A little bit weird. But it, I guess it's just a little small. Uh, desert rock, frozen rock, painted rock. Light cliff rock. Oh. Okay, but I think we'll just keep walking, see what else. While we're scrolling through the items, let's see. Cliff rocks, copper ore, tin ore, coal, iron, gold, silver. And that's all of the minerals. Then you got the barks and wood, sandstone, limestone, cobblestone, mossy, obsidian, ruin stone. How does this look? Whoops, that's a little bit small. Uh, how about the big one? Ah, jump. Thank you. Interesting. Let's fly a bit. I think it's double tap space, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ah! How do you go up then? Would that just be look up and I guess point W? Okay, wow. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll build stuff, but for now, I think I'll just keep walking because I am, pl when the game, when most of the game features come out, I'm planning on doing a sort of nomadic style of playing the game. And yeah, just to mix it up a bit for adventure's sake. Wonder if I can improve the frame rate a little bit. Let's see what happens if we do distance normal. Resume game. Uh, that did... Oh, that actually made things worse. <laughs> uh, maybe because in far distance it doesn't really have to load as much fog. I don't know. Let's see, here's a bunch of rocks. Blue rocks. How does... How, huh. Interesting. Ooh. Let's try and make this rock bigger. Huh, okay. Not by much then. We got some white green rocks. 
I guess it's subtly green. We got crystals. I think those do um, release light. Let's. They are a light source, I think. It'll probably be easier to see at night. Not dead wood. <laughs> Let's make this bigger. Okay, I guess we can't. Palm trees, pine trees, a bunch of trees, birch, maple, etc. Cacti. What is this? Boulder. A square boulder. Genius. Sorta. More like a trapezoid. What is that? Coconut. <laughs> do these roll? Can I push these over? I should do this in the light. I should. Sprint a little bit. Okay. Uh, no, they do not appear to move. Okay. That's fine. A gourd. What's this? Weird plant thing. <laughs> Small stalactite. I guess you can rotate these two with the greater than or l greater than or less than keys. But I think, yeah, that may, might have to be on a wall. It's, ooh, black stone. Need some light. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's almost sunset. Huh. Okay. Oh, torches. That's kind of important. Haha. <laughs> uh, nice torch effects. Or yeah, slowly. Okay, wait. So it's called blackstone, but it's purple for whatever reason. Doesn't really make much sense. Then let's see. We got the workbench here. Whoa, I'm rotating it, I guess. Here. And anvil. And what is this? Axe, hammer, sword, pick, and shit, shit. What is it? Scimitar. No idea what that is. Maybe my vocabulary is a little weak. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the inventory list. We'll just keep walking all the way through night. I highly doubt they added any mobs yet, but <laughs> you never know. There could be a nasty surprise, and oh, what, what, what's that blue glowing light? Let's follow the light. Follow the light. And there's a sunset for you. Okay, so what is all this blue light about? Is it these plants? I guess it is those blue plants. Okay. Mushrooms. They are. Oh, those hills out there. And oh, there's a nose. I guess a little bit of anti-aliasing might help a bit there to smooth out that texture. But yeah. Is that? Oh, what is that? What was that? Oh, cave. Where's the torch? You scroll so much to get to the torch. And come on, where's the torch? Where's the torch? Aha! There we go. I guess we can wait, never mind. Let's explore this place a little bit. Oh, I guess it <laughs> it's just a little tunnel that reappears. Oh, and I wait. Yeah, maybe one thing they can do is make these falling leaves dimmer at night. That would be uh, helpful. Not, I mean, not helpful, just it make a little more sense. Okay. And it, what is... Uh, just a big shadow? Wait, what's this... Another cavern. Get the torch out. Actually, let's try these crystals. Well, they do illuminate just enough. Wait, is this just a pit I'm in? Yeah, looks like it is. <laughs> okay, just a big pit. A pit of doom. Oh, what was that? They said themselves, Nord Kingdom, that every sound has a source. So, uh, <laughs> that 
makes me slightly nervous. Ooh, looks like we're approaching a new biome here. Uh, the seed you might have seen at the beginning, but the seed I put for this world is Pi, as in capital P lowercase i. So if you want to check this specific world out for whatever reason, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And looks like we're reaching the evergreen pine, whatever, biome sort of thing. Okay, let's stop and see if there's any wind we can listen to. A little bit of hissing. Or no, 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 that's just a car. <laughs> or something. Something down there. Or was that? Is that actually there? I don't know. I thought I heard hissing. But it's probably just me. Yeah, so the sound engine, or what they're doing with the sound and tug, is that um, all the ambiences in the world will build up chords. And, for example, the sounds of my footsteps are probably the most basic sort of, oh, what is it, percussion in this. But then when you swing hammers and stuff, and place blocks too, it kind of builds up. And then other melodies, like the wind and stuff, um, also adds to the sound. So that'd be pretty fun to play with, um, orchestras and stuff, once the game uh, gets more features. Now... What? Did I just fall? Oh, a cave. <laughs> okay, just a cave again. Let's find a torch. Be nice if there was a shortcut like T or something. Okay, let's... So, there's a big hole that I just fell in. And now let's... Heck, let's... Whoa! Uh, <laughs> looks like I selected a lot of rocks for whatever reason. Torch, torch, torch. There we go. Spam torches. Let's get a nice view of everything here. Caves look pretty nice. Uh, some of the polys could use a little work, but other than that, quite smooth and spooky. Especially like the amount of darkness in the world. Oh, whoa, is this like a... wow. This up here... wait, what? Light glitch. <laughs> yeah, looks like... wow, this is actually pretty good. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm putting the torches, like, straight up and sticking them inside the dirt. And they're, like, releasing light, but not really. So, yeah, it's a bit weird. Not sure how to rotate the stuff on the other axis. Oh, well. Actually, let's go ahead and fly a little bit. Fly a bit fast. And, ooh, a mountain biome. Actually, wait, I'm curious to see if I can stand on trees. Uh, looks like I can sort of stand in the branches. Am I still flying? Nope, okay. So yeah, this would be an epic out. Ooh, epic but dangerous position if you're doing some archery and you're gonna go hunting. Okay, we're here on a mountain biome now. And what time is it? Where where the hell is the moon? Luna, where are you? Luna. Luna. Where the hell is the moon? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, a pretty cool mountain here. Let's fall and start walking a bit. Yeah, some of these uh, textures and stuff could use some work, but I mean this is this is really really good for their first alpha release. I mean you gotta keep that in mind. I mean not to discourage you from criticizing the game which is never a bad thing, especially constructive criticism. But um, yeah just keep in mind this is the first release 
it is definitely not a Minecraft clone because, well, as of now, it sort of is because it is basically a creative mode this game. But what they're going for is more of an adventure and backstory and lore and stuff in this game. So that you can discover ruins and ba and learn more about the backstory, history, and culture of the gods of Tug. There's a torch for you, peak of the mountain. I'm going to fly a little more. Let's see if I can find a biome with a geyser. I want to find a naturally spawning geyser. Not just a place. Actually, where is the altar? I kind of want to place one down because I saw in someone else's video... Oh, whoa. Ah, there's the moon, there's the moon. So, what, if I go high enough, does the moon just disappear, or was I stupid? <laughs> ah, whatever. Let's just fall back down. And... Where is the Alta? want to hear your hissing. Okay, there's the geyser, which I don't really want to place because it is kind of a... Uh, just kind of... Oh, what's the word? Just kind of sticks out there randomly. Unwanted. Man, my vocabulary isn't too strong today. Probably because I have not been at school for two weeks. Or not two weeks. One month. Because of summer vacation. Ah, there's light. This weird humming. Maybe in the future this will be some way to communicate with the gods? <laughs> I don't know. Let's get some torches around here. Uh, everything is under speculation. How the world of Tug works. Getting a nice sunrise. Let's go ahead and watch a sunrise from the top of this tree. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Actually, this might be a good screenshot. There we go. And what else? Actually, this is a pretty cool vista here, too. Buena vista. Okay. And... Wait. Screenshot. Okay. Enough of me uh, planning out thumbnails for this video. <laughs> um, actually, I wonder how long have I been recording? Maybe I should have a timer or something. Uh, yeah, first look at Tug. Uh, actually, I should probably try again. Um, digging straight down, seeing how far the world will go. <laughs> Not sure if I'll end up in lava. <laughs> or die eventually. Let's just... Uh, wait, we have the biggest selected. Well, I don't want to place. I just want to go straight down see what happens. <laughs> There's a cavern there. Actually, no, I can't hold down left mouse, sadly. There's some coal we just passed. Some whatever. Some gold. Or is it fool's gold? No idea. <laughs> Gravel, maybe? Dirt? Coal? Bunches and bunches of stuff in this new world. Of whoa, okay. Um, I'm stuck. Okay, that was uh, weird. Now, what is this? Is this my spawn point? Is this where I spawned? Really? Did did digging straight down just send me to spawn? Or I honestly have no idea what's going on. No, this couldn't have been spawn because my spawn was flat. It's like flat as a pancake, so strange, very strange. Ooh. 
Ooh, x-ray, vision, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sneaky caverns, okay. I guess you, we can also call this a chunk error. <laughs> yep, taken vocabulary from Minecraft. Just slapping it into Tug. What else? Some flowers? Oh, it looks like I can place them if I want as well. Red flowers everywhere! Mm -hmm. Or daisies, I guess. Maybe, actually not. Oh! What's this? What's this? This another crevice, I see. Let's sprint over. Yeah, another cavern. Is that it? <laughs> okay. Looks like I'll have to dig down if I want to find more, but I'm yeah, not really interested. I think once I find a really, really cool location, I, I'm not sure how I define a really cool location as of now, but once I find a place I'm satisfied with, I think I'll start building. Or maybe if I find, like, the hugest freaking cavern ever, maybe I could build, like, a dwarf or a... Whoa, right as I say that, there's a huge freaking cavern. <laughs> but if I find a really, really huge freaking... Like, oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> a huge chamber underground, maybe I could build, like, a dwarf fortress or something. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I really want to start building a masterpiece in alpha means that... The game's going to get constantly updated, and newer, cooler features that will enhance everything that I just worked on. Um, yeah, will come out and make everything I did obsolete. So, yeah, looks like we got... Wow, the, the perfect view. The perfect view. This, in fact, is worth another screenshot. There we go. Did that take... Yeah, it took... Okay. Wow. <laughs> Maybe let's see how it looks from the side of the mountain. Maybe we can build a nice mountainside base. Once we find bark or wood. Planks, that's what we want. Or bricks. Or planks. Or bricks. <laughs> see, good view. I guess um, the rendering distance kind of limits it. So maybe that, maybe down on the side, like here. Or, ooh, we can build ours at the entrance of a cavern. Cave, whatever you want to call it. Dictionary definition, I think, is pretty much the same. I'm probably very wrong about that, <laughs> as always. walk around the side here. Wow, perfect shelter. The perfect... Whoa. Can clip through the terrain. <laughs> yeah, perfect shelter here. Uh, which I think I might actually end off the recording here with... Wait, since we have a shelter here, our seedling can take a nice snooze. Wait for the next episode to begin. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like it and comment saying that you like it, because <laughs> that'd be some good direct feedback. Uh, no matter what you guys say, sadly though, I'm <laughs> not sadly, but I'm definitely going to be doing much more, much, much more tug videos, especially when gameplay features come out like in beta and full release, which, man, the game's going to be so awesome then if they hold up to their promises, <laughs> which I definitely think they will. They seem like a great company, great indie developers. Um, yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching again, and I will see you next time.